For example, when Thomas sends me a text message, I'll get that message on my phone, which might be in my pocket, and if you can kind of make it out there, the notification gets mirrored to my PC. I don't ever have to take my phone out of my pocket. As we talked about, users really love interactive notifications because they allow you to take quick actions without leaving the context of what you're working on. For example, with this notification, I can actually reply to the text message from the convenience of my keyboard. You guys had pocket PCs in college? That's what I had. <laughs> <laughs> that notification gets sent back to my phone, and if the, there we go, Wi-Fi's working pretty well. You hear it? It came back to me. So that was real notification mirroring for text messaging from an Android phone to a Windows PC. Yay. <laughs> Now, some notifications are purely informational. When you get the notification, all you want to do is just dismiss the notification. For example, you might be in a really annoying Facebook group chat message, and Thomas just keeps on sending you a bunch of text Facebook messages. All you want to do when you get that notification is just dismiss it. I didn't know you thought our group chats were annoying. I can remove you from our group chats if you don't <laughs> want to be in our group chats. I'm, I'm trying to do work, and um, you're just always chatting with me. Anyways, so now when I'm at my work PC and Thomas is trying to distract me, I can get that notification, and we're still building up the UI and making this a little better, but you'll be able to, dis to dismiss that notification from your computer, and then in a few seconds, the notification will get dismissed from your phone, so that when you take your phone out later in the day, just got dismissed, you don't have to see those redundant notifications. Finally, there's one last scenario where you actually have the same app installed on both of your devices. The app is on your PC and it's on your phone. You're already getting these notifications on both of these devices. However, when you dismiss a notification from your PC, it currently isn't dismissed from your phone. You have to take your phone out later in the day, you see that same notification that you've already dismissed, and you have to dismiss it again. With Action Center in the cloud, we solve that with what we call universal dismiss, which apps can effortlessly add support for. I've done this in my app that I built, Power Planner. It's a homework planner for students, and it's the app that I personally used in college to help myself get through college. One of the key features is it sends me reminders about my homework that I haven't completed yet. It was really useful. However, since I had the app on my computer and phone, I would get the reminder on my computer and dismiss it there. Later on in the day, I'd take my phone out, and I'd have to dismiss the same reminder again. So I've got Power Planner installed on my Windows phone and also my Windows PC. You can see the app there. And I just got a reminder here on both of these devices. Check out what happens when I click Dismiss from the PC. That reminder's gone from my phone. I don't have to dismiss it in two places. The same works in the opposite direction. If I happen to be on my phone, I can also dismiss that reminder, and it'll get dismissed from my PC. Come on. Oh, oh magic. It the first time. Look at that. <laughs> if Thomas sends me a message online, I'll get that notification on my phone. Sorry. Come on, send it. <laughs> Sorry, it's my fault. The Wi-Fi the wi is not, it's not connecting at the moment. For once, it's user error? No, it's really, it's the phone it's on this end. Oh, I, can, <laughs> I can turn Wi-Fi off and see if we can make it work. Give me a second. Sorry, folks. All right. The demo, <laughs> up. Wait, oh. There we go. There we go. OK. So then I got that notification mirrored on my desktop, and as a user, I noticed I can reply to this message, but there's also this Get App button. If I click that, that'll take me directly to the store where I can discover that the Line app is available on Windows 10. That means for you guys, your users can effortlessly discover your apps, you get a new install, and your users get a richer experience on their computers all without doing anything.